Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> so yeah, it's just going to some um, <laughs> um stuff on that on Instagram. I was looking at posts and stuff. Meme, meme, memes. I was making memes. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm weird in my own terms, don't worry. I'm much weirder in person, or I'm much more calmer in person. Depends on like how much of me you guys have seen. If that makes sense. Like, if you guys have seen how much I can get, where's that? I want to go there. I really want to go there. Actually, I want to I, I know where it is. How? Okay. How did a boat get in? Who has the LED on? The green light LED. It hurt my eyes while I was playing. Um, and we want like a bright color, so it's like green. Um, LED color. Yeah, is this is this better for you? Damn. Yeah. Ooh. It's got some style to it. He's not looking too good there. Oh, the campsite there, isn't it? Okay. No, he doesn't seem like an Arthur Morgan to me. I shaved his beard. Yes, I know. I'm gonna buy a new hat actually. Ah, Miss Gasol. Oh, hey, Arthur. Hi, Sean. Hope we can see, be seeing more of you. Cool. Daddy. When he, he needs to be more missions. Honestly. Okay. What did I want to come in here for? Hat, wasn't it? Where do you buy... Where do you buy the hats? I want to know where you buy all the hats and stuff. I think that's there. The general store. Broken. I think that's there. Oh, in a little friendly competition you a shooting man I've been looking for a challenge and I ain't found one yet what'd oh. you say why don't we find out good uh, whoever shoots Those bottles wins, okay? All right. All right. Stand alongside me. As soon as you pull your weapon and aim, we let fly. Okay. Go. Ah, ah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. 
Guess that explains it. I'm brand new. It's hard lines, partner. Here's an idea. Oh. Uh, I, didn't, I didn't mean to do that. I, didn't mean to do that. I, meant, I didn't know what I was saying. I don't remember that. I didn't mean to do that to him. I promise. Yep. I swear to you. I'm pacifying. Oh, yeah, wait, we weren't supposed to find any weapons, though. Yeah. 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 Actually, we need a light breath on. That's just a very, like, mysterious man. He's a very mysterious man. Oh, it's not me. to the cute little dollies and must have yeah, well, self respect look at for new hat apart from the uh, up here oh well, that's the whole the, uh, range we should do half more than that mm. that's it you don't have any other hats? No, no, it's just jackets. You don't have any other hats. It's just this. What? Yeah, I have to know which hat is I that, want. Is I'm that just snail? Not, is that you? No, it's not me. Maybe. <laughs> That's popular. See that statue outside? The one to fallen soldiers? Old Major Crawley put it up. He sometimes pops in here, you know. No idea who that is. Okay, so the hats are not there. Let's check accessories. The things the ladies of Rhodes say to each other when they're browsing these shelves, <laughs> like they forget I exist. Mm. Nothing to say. I came in here to check. You should have started a store, Roughneck. This is a real adventure. And there was me with my hopes up. If you fancy doing some shopping, come on back. <laughs> I don't look quite right. Gwen Hughes, <laughs> figuring out a box for yourself if you don't got that money, you owe Leopold Strauss. I, I don't. I, I, I need more time. 
Doesn't everybody? That casket for you? Or you want another? Wait, 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 wait. I, I, I can get it for you. But, uh, well, uh, come with me to the churchyard. And stay close. Hmm? All right. Oh, this ain't right. I, I mean, I I'll get you your money, but, uh, oh, well, you'll see. What ain't right is borrowing money you can't pay back. I guess, I guess, I guess you're correct, but, uh, this, it, it ain't exactly right, what we're doing. You ain't the first to put his hand in the collection box, and you won't be the last. Rest a little easier knowing church has been taking more than they need off poor folks since time began. Well, like I said, well... The morality of the matter is a little more confusing than that. <sighs> okay. You head on in the church, I'll keep watch. Well, it ain't in there. It's under here. I'm digging up Mrs. Claypole. I Jesus. said stay close. Well, she got a bunch of jewels in there that she don't need. Not only is Oh damn it. What? There's a bunch of people here. Oh, I got it. I got it. Look, you clear them off, and I'll wait right around here. But don't hurt nobody. We don't want no fuss. Don't be shy. Ain't no one around. Just my auntie. Your auntie. You two might want to find somewhere a little more private. We was fine until you got here, mister. Good day now. Get out of here, kids. Move! Come on. I knew we shouldn't have been here. You missed your chance, boy! Ma'am, would you mind clearing out of here for some uh, maintenance work? Oh, gladly. It's about time this place got cleaned up. It's all clear. All right. Now go watch the gate. I'll get to this, uh, this exhumation. I'm sorry, ma'am. The church grounds are closed for maintenance work. Well, it's about time, too. The place was in need of some care and attention. Some uh, excavation work. Would you mind? No, I ain't gonna mind you at all. You carry on with your business, we'll carry on with ours. This fella. Oh, damn choir boy. Get the hell out of this churchyard. Are you boys gonna need yourselves a preacher? You hear this fella? I heard him all right. We're gonna lick you, bastard. Ah! Whoa! Go! Run along! Ah, shit. I hope this hole's dug. Alright, well, here's your payment. 
Oh, forgive me, Mrs. Claypole. What you find? Oh, she had a brooch here. It looks like diamonds. Well, this will do. Now get out of here before someone sees you. Let's go. <clears throat> of course, of course. Oh, and here is my dear friend, Arthur Callahan. Boy is a hunter. Boy is a killer. Arthur, you've met but not been introduced to Mr. Oh, I'm so sorry. Sheriff. Well, how are you doing, sir? I'm fine. Tough business you boys had. We did? Oh, there's no need to pretend with me, sir. Life can be tough. So it can. And no man owes another anything. No, sir. But still, I feel you were hard done by. Losing your employment like that? But still, here in Rhodes, we have work enough for honest men. Oh, that's some strong stuff. Still, don't seem to be doing you any harm, I guess. Exactly. Whoa. Excuse me a moment. I told you we was moving up in this world. Deputies. You have finally <laughs> lost your mind. Amongst these drunkards, hillbillies, and slavers? Good, honest thieves like us. We're bound to be moralizers in a place like this. Oh, Sheriff Gray, you are back. <laughs> now listen, sir. There is shine in them woods, though. And it is cost in this county its good name. And the state a whole lot of income. You boys wouldn't mind rooting it out. Maybe we'll make you permanent. I gotta set me down a second. Not a problem, sir. Not a problem at all. You are in safe hands now. And people waste time with the temperance movement. Liquor never dulled a good man's senses. Arthur, you ride with the deputy. Bill and I will follow. Climb on up. Let's go. Archibald? How are you? Pretty good. And your friend is behaving himself? Oh, uh, yes. Uh, I think he's learned his lesson. Congratulations on becoming a temporarily deputized citizen of Scarlet Meadows County. Most towns just get bounty hunters to do their dirty work these days, but Sheriff Gray believes the law should keep the law. Now, I'm sure I don't need to remind you there's a chain of command here. There is? Dang straight there is. This is a dangerous business, but follow my lead and you'll be just fine. Sure. Hey! Archibald wants to remind us he's in charge here. Of course! Who else would be? You were a big help with them Anderson boys, and I put in a very good word with the sheriff on your behalf. We appreciate that. We rounded up the others soon after. I'm pushing for the rope myself, but that's by the by. So, these moonshiners. Not just any moonshiners. Braithwaites. I told you about the Braithwaites. Pretty oh, sure you die. did. Old Cotton family had a fortune at one point until, well, a few changes in the labor laws. Now they're dealing in moonshine. We found their stills hidden all over Lemoyne. Quick as we destroy one, another one pops up. You could call it a pitiful fall from grace, if they had any grace to start with. I have no time for tax dodgers. Not to mention the fact that Catherine Braithwaite has a rather expensive interest in thoroughbred horses to maintain. But I heard something about it being gold these families were fighting over. Well. 
That's the rumor. But the Greys and the Braithwaites think the others stole the fortune from them. But it happened so long ago, I don't know for sure if it's true. Must be tough being rich, huh? <laughs> so I imagine. That bad rather suits you, Mr. W. Yes. I thought so, too. Does it feel good to be back at it, serving your country? I wouldn't go that far. Whoa! Whoa! Hold up. You see that wagon? Oh. No. Yeah, let's check that out. Where they got it in for me. You could try washing once in a while. Quite a bit of go. Come on, mister. Keep your eyes open. Uh, shut that. No. This must have happened recently. Doesn't look so recent. Mm -hmm. Hey, come have a look at this. Look. Suit and tie. One bullet clean through the forehead. Well, my money says this is the handiwork of a gang called the Lemoyne Raiders. Yeah, I've run into them. Let's see if we've got any identification. Okay. We should get going. I'll send someone over here later to clean this up. So, we're not just gonna... Oops, okay. Would you mind taking the reins? I want to have a look at these papers. Sure. I'll direct you. Okay. Frederick Mitchell. Lemoyne State Legislator. Poor fella. Yes, this certainly smacks of the Raiders to me. Bunch of ex-army free staters without an ounce of respect for the law. That's seven government officials they've murdered this year alone. Yep. Not the nicest fellas in my experience. Uh. Go right at the crossroads. Oh, and I know the Braithwaites are in business with them. No shame. Trash begets trash, my Uncle Reginald used to say. They're right again here. He had a few stories, let me tell you. Town preacher and town sheriff. They drink a sailor under the table before breakfast. He had one tiny hand, like a child's, on the end of a grown man's arm. But anyway, this tells you what kind of people the Braithwaites are. Selling moonshine to murderers. I tell folks don't even speak to him. Don't even look him in the eye. I'm sure I wouldn't. Here we are. So what was I saying? Something about the Braithwaites, I think. Even saying that word makes me sick. Now, anyone we find here, we bring in alive. See? What did I tell you, boys? What did I say? I said this place was crawling with vermin, and we just found ourselves the rat's nest par excellence, as they say in Paris. My aunt, she went to Paris back in 78. Oh, man, this. Well, the way I said... Actually, let my friend here decide. He doesn't have your fine way with words, but he is definitely the man for the job. Let's split up. Arthur and Bill, me and Archibald. You boys want right or left? We'll take, take the left. Let's stop these filthy, degenerate tax dodgers. The cheek of them. A fire guy. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out. 
the time of. Got it. Deputy Williamson. What time is it now? Seven forty six. We got an intruder. Bill. No, because Bill was in the way. We'll take the left. Let's stop these filthy degenerate tax dodgers. Remember what he said. We need them alive. Let's just knock them out and then tie them up. Got it, Deputy Williamson. See one by the bridge over there? I think that's it. Well, what do we do now? We better destroy all this. Any of your boys can handle explosives? Sure. Anyone but him. Oh, so. you think you're real funny, don't you? Tell me about <laughs> that. is the last time I'll mention it, I swear. Yeah, I'm sure.
as well. and get out of here. Fine by me. Well done. <laughs> well, forgive me, but me and my men must return to our lives. Ah, seems like we failed to destroy the last of the moonshine. Sure. Would you like us to? Well, I normally take it for personal consumption. It's sort of part of the job. But... I better get back home. Why don't I just take a jug or two and leave you boys the rest to show that there's no hard feelings on account of the war? We are all Americans. Of course. My cousin, Webster. I he used Webster. to say some of us is not as American as others, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Only I didn't, quite. <laughs> Come on, you degenerate, <laughs> no-good, white-trash, hillbilly piece of scum. I know you, Billy Lime. Finally. You've always been a Finally. piece of crap. Come on, move it. We have a life move on a land so stupid, a backwater so backwards that even we are like geniuses. <laughs> Bill, get this stuff out of here. Come on, you ride with me. Okay. Yeah. Should I stash this somewhere near camp, boss? Yes. Show it to Hosea. I'm sure he can find a use for it. Bit of trouble back there, Arthur? Ain't there always. From what they was yelling, I think they were the buyers. Old Archibald didn't ask too many questions, so neither should we. I ain't planning to. That was worth the effort, though. Deputized and hiding in plain sight. These lawmen. These two families. I mean, I really think we can play this from all sides. We've got Hosea written all over it. This is starting to sound like the young Dutch again. What do you mean, young Dutch? I'm as strong as I have ever been. Hey, you know what? Why don't I race you back? Okay, you're on. That's the spirit. Okay, on my word. Set. Go! You never were much of a rider. We'll see about that. I feel like he's gonna beat me either way.
never knew you were quite so good at running away. Oh, I never knew age had slowed you down quite so much. <laughs> well, time is a bastard. When you get to be my age, well, you'll know that better than anything. Be well. I had fun with you today. You're... I was gonna say you're like a son to me. But you're more than that. So it's a robbery. Um, what exactly is that? Me. John, that's actually sick. Grab the swagger. Grab the swagger, grab the swagger. Oh, we're taking the swagger. Use these out more. I don't want to hurt that now. Oh, there's... Oh, there's a game right here. So, I want to hurt. It looks like he's about this one. Oh, you just see... Um, the hats. Hats. Jeans. Hey, uh, Arthur. What's going on? Yeah. Jose and John are looking for you. They went out to the moonshine stash, said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the Braithwaite place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him instead. <sighs> Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. You 
don't make a convincing lawman. You big, but you're dumb. Oh. You're starting to talk like a big mouth lawman, too. I'm only joking with you. You are strange sometimes. <laughs> Oh. Nothing going on out here, Arthur. Good. Hey, send one of them girls down when you get a chance, would you? Shut up. Okay, well, let's talk more later. Okay, Morgan. John? What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. <coughs> Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. Uh, I get you. You and Dutch was just doing your duty when you requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. Uh, I'll leave see you John. to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? <sighs> I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, these are two big old plantation houses, and all I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it. Maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Maybe. Maybe. Here we are. Modest little homestead, isn't it? Gentlemen, how are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady. Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want Hi. to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> okay, okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. He told me driver. <coughs> what you want? Found something. Out in the hills, thought. Thought maybe you was in the market for it. For what? Some liquor. I ain't in the market for what's already mine. The way we see it, it's ours. Well, with us possessing it, and I, I checked all over. For the life of me, I couldn't see your name on it. Oh. Relax, mm. I ain't here to rob you. <laughs> no, it seems that's easy enough. <laughs> Wanna do a deal? What do you sell that stuff for? Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> <laughs> Pay the man. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it. 
least not without orders from... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the Rhodes Saloon. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, but not bad considering how hot they were, especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. No, not bad at all. <sighs> Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep their full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah, that don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. We'll need something. I ain't playing, dress. You know how I feel about that. Of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Mosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I have to. Yeah. Put this hat on. <clears throat> Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. <sighs> Gentlemen! Gentlemen! Quite the town you have here. We just rode in from up north. Hey. Hello. Hello, I'm Melvin. This is my brother Fenton. Don't mind him. Don't madden him. He's turned idiot. <laughs> Killed our mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys... How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along now. Enjoy the money. Come along, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. The drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yes. The only rule is that you gotta drink them, so hurry up, put old Fenton to work. Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. The whole thing. Ah. Now, come up to the bar, everybody. Come on, foolish children. I'll have one, Fenton. Three drinks. A gift. Bounty. Keep them going. Us all. So drink up. Don't be shy, boys. <laughs> Mr. Gray won't be happy about this. Another bottle, Benton. These men are dry. Don't be shy. It's the land of opportunity. Where's my man? It's your opportunity to get in here. You're a fine man, Benton. You're a fine man. We got one. Don't listen to your brother. Let's go. Over here, Benton. Couple this way. 
Good evening, gentlemen. Quiet libation. You, me. You're the bastards who stole the liquor we was gonna buy. Gentlemen, we're in advertising. Uh, come on in and have a drink. That's our goddamn liquor. An honest mistake. Boys, get them. Oh, 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 oh. That's our booze, oh. game bastards. It's a good hat. Sell it.
think so. Jesus, all this over a few bottles of booze? I reckon it's more they don't want another gang on their patch. Okay. me never to take up a career in, what was it advertising yeah you think that woman set us up no i don't think so maybe this place is odd uh, i keep seeing those fellas some local militia clearly not too happy to have some new competition i'll go visit old my braithwaite see what's what why we've been making money the chest is filling up again slowly but surely Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost. But we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So, for now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. So, what do you think? About what? The fine folks around these parts. Oh, real nice. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. Mm. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. You sure? Why not? Because we got lawmen in three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other okay, anyway. Okay, well, Jose's gone back to see that Braithwaite woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now, you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get an in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side. And then we ride them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback for my daddy. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Where's my horse at? Boy! 
I'm gonna go there's two missions. Yes, I am. Let's ask you to find out more about the bounty hunters. Oh, not too many to keep count of. Somewhere I hope that we can do, like we have to do every single mission, and then continue to like the next chapter. So I uh... Can I help you there? Sure. Those supposed to be my business partners here. They arranged a meeting, I believe, about some horses. A fellow with a scar and a Mexican. Yes, sir. Out by the stables. Thank you. Have a wonderful day now. town and you're helping everybody and everywhere and have you met my partner arthur morgan no i met your son the sheriff okay mr gray here was saying how he had problems with a family a family of degenerates oh well nobody likes degenerates the hag and her inbred sons they ruined this county they killed my uncle you know that ain't right Problem is, we can't be seen to get too close. And? We've got gold, Yankee. We've got gold. I ain't no Yankee, friend. I ain't nothing. My daddy came over on the boat from Scotland. I'm Scottish. And the Braithwaites? Goddamn peasants. I don't know. Mongrels. Slave fuckers. All you gotta do is look at them. How much gold? Enough. These are prized horses I'm talking about. Them, they'll get you 5,000. 
Five thousand. For horses. Easy. And where do we sell them, these five thousand dollar horses? Over in Clemens Cove. Fell over there, we'll run them out of state and give you fifty cents on the dollar. Mister, you got yourself a deal. Just keep us away from this. Publicly, I mean. My sense is we keep all horse wrestling away from the public. Go to the stables on the side. Outside of... Crazy old fool. You should see the Braithwaite woman. Jose and Sean were planning on going over to the Braithwaites. You haven't seen them? No, not yet. If they're there already, they better keep their heads down. You don't need this to be any more complicated than it already is. Five thousand dollars for horses. We've been robbing the wrong folk all these years. Yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. But, if we get even a third of that, it'll be worth it. So how are we gonna play this? The place is well guarded, so there ain't no point in blasting in there. We'll make them think we're there looking to purchase. Three armed men? You'd be armed if you were about to spend 5,000 on horses. We should go in the back way, though. Avoid too many questions. Guard. I'll speak to him, okay? <sighs> All right, then. Can I help you, gentlemen? Yeah, we're here to see about some horses. Horses? Yeah, we had a, an appointment <coughs> with Mr. Braithwaite, I believe. Yeah, I never heard about any of this. Our partner wanted to make a significant investment in some stables down here. <sighs> but perhaps we should look elsewhere. Well, I... Okay, then. Let's head on up to the stables. Someone will come see you. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. No need to rush. We don't want to draw any unnecessary attention. All right. I think that's the stables just up ahead. Heads down. Play cool. We'll head around the front. Hitch up there. Let's hitch up here. Whoa! That was good. Let me do the talking. Hey, Hello greetings. there. Can I help you boys? I <laughs> hope so. Heard you got some horses. We always got horses. Fine horses, I mean. I don't get you, friend. Yeah, you do. Come on. Listen, why don't you get out of here? You, Scarface, and your greaser buddy. Whoa! I don't like officials. We ain't officials. We're connoisseurs. Looking to do some breedings. Come on now, partner. 
Okay, fine. Follow me. These here's mainly the studs available for purchase or for working. If that's what you're interested in. What is your boys interested in? We represent a famous uh, stable and stud farm from uh, Saratoga. Is that so? Unofficially. Of course. Well, this here's Cerberus. Here you go, boy. Cerberus. Uh huh. Greaser, huh? Okay. Bandana's on. Nobody recognizing us. All right, I'll grab the white one in the middle. You get the other two. Relax, boy. Come on. Good boy. Easy. Whoa. Marston, you're gonna tether him up to Javier's horse. Okay. Javier, you're gonna lead the stallions. Whoa. Marston, you ride for me. I'll cover up the back. If there's any problems, we regroup at Clemens Cove. Okay. What are you doing? Let's go, quick! Get going, you two! What the hell are you doing? Stop! Stop! We're being robbed! I said stop these men! Stop! Clemens Cove is just over there. Come on. Let's get this over with. Well, that could have gone smoother. That'll be on my gravestone. Come here. You think they look like they're paying 5000 for horses? I guess we'll see. 
Come on now. What you boys want? Heard you was, uh, heard you paid good prices for horses. Oh, we'll buy more or less anything, Pop. That so? Sure, Pop. I'm Clay Davies. That's my brother, Clive. We're twins. John, Arthur, Javier. Wendell. <laughs> so what are you, Cuban? No, I don't like Cubans. That's so? Maybe. Well, what do you care? You ain't Cuban. Maybe I like Cubans. <laughs> Ooh, you're funny. He's funny. Ain't he funny, Clive? Clive don't talk. We're twins, but I was born first. He came out all yellow and black, but he's okay. Uh, sure. Yeah, I know these horses. They ain't yours, but I like you, and I'll give you... I can give you 654. Okay. <laughs> I was told we could get up to $5,000 for them. And I was told the moon was made of ladies' tears. Only it ain't true. Not one little bit. But... I like you boys. But I ain't got more than 700 on me. You want it? Or you want to ride them fellers into town and maybe someone there will hang you? We're gonna need more than that. I ain't got no more money, Pop. Here, take it or leave it. Uh-huh. All right, you goddamn fool, Marston. Ain't no one around here got $5,000, boys, but nice meeting you. <laughs> See you boys again, I hope. Come on, yeah. Close the gate, Clive. Believed a yarn spun us by one of that Gray family and imagined we was gonna be wonderfully rich. At the end of it, we felt like prize idiots. You gonna get out there and make some money? Now that ain't nice, Morgan. What are you doing? You're a waste of space. Why do you let yourself get so head up? Make yourself useful. This is getting real tired now. Think you're such a big man. I'd apologize, but don't feel like it. Just back off, will you? Okay. to your bull crap all day every day that's it i'm gonna knock you 
upside your head. Get back to work before I bug it. That's what I'm saying, not you. Uh, 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 gotcha. This ain't how it looks. I can't believe that worked. You got a plan, right? Sure. Yeah, I, I got it all lined out. Yeah, well, we don't got time to celebrate. Come on. So, what's your plan, anyway? Plan? Plan not to get caught. Now shut up. Hurry up. You bet. Give us some room, partner. Hell of a business. I ain't going back in that box. Everyone gets what's coming, don't they? Hey, fellas. I have a meeting with Mrs. Braithwaite. My associates are already here. All right, that's enough. Move along now. I don't know why. Come in, sir. Howdy. This way, sir. <sighs> A gentleman to see you, ma'am. So, your friend, the other liquor vendor. Hello. Hello, ma'am. Uh, Arthur, welcome. We were just playing cribbage. Arthur Morgan, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. Nice to see you again. Apparently. So this one, he is big and as dumb as he looks? <laughs> well, he's surely big. But his intelligence is a matter of some conjecture. Some say he is as dumb as he looks, but I think, well, he's not quite that dumb. <laughs> so these are the boys going to Caliger Hall? Yes, we can take care of that for you, but one hates to be coarse. There is the question of money. <laughs> oh, we've got money, Mr. Matthews. Paper, bonds, metal. <laughs> she ain't gonna pay you with a certified check, you Yankee numbskull. Ain't childbirth just the most beautiful miracle on earth? Seems a lady can birth monkeys, after all. I'm already like a show him what kind of like his aunt at this point. Let's do this. Hop on. Oil fill you in on the way. No, I'm driving. <laughs> Fine. All right, let's get this over with. You was quiet in there. Took everything I had. That son of hers. I'll shove that silver spoon down his throat and pull it clean out of his ass. The smug fucker. Okay. So what she got us doing at the Gray's place? She wants us to torture tobacco fields. Said they ain't had rain in weeks round here. What? Yep. Yeah. Using that back there. Moonshine? Burns faster than kerosene, that stuff. Said it'd be fitting, she did. All I'm thinking is how about I toy fitting my boot up your hook. No, just snotty old bitch. <laughs> Jose really picked the right fella for tea at the manor, didn't he? Ah, oh, he was giving his usual flannel. One of these families got gold stashed somewhere, he reckons. I mean, I'm off for sticking it to rich folks. I hate rich folks. 
There really better be some bloody money at the end of all this. Jose knows what he's doing. Does he, though? <laughs> the master finagler of nothing. Easy, easy. So far, we've destroyed the Braithwaite still. Tried to sell the shine back to them. Now we're on this fool's errand, which I'm very much looking forward to, by the way. They were saying old man Gray's double security after that business at the saloon. We just robbed their horses, too. That was you? Jesus. So, we're just gonna drive on in there, is that it? Don't worry. I got a plan. Wagons go in and out of there all the time with supplies, equipment, payroll. Especially now they're taking on all that extra muscle. We're making a delivery. <laughs> Whoa! Hold up a second. Are you not worried about them greys, English? Excuse me? You not worried about them greys? In what sense? Well, they know you. Yeah, maybe you're right. You know what? Here. I'll go hide and back. If you can act naturally and stop us from getting into a fight before we're ready. I will try. Yes. Try and do an impression of a human being. I'm not going to go that far. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Stay out of sight. I'll do the talking. Hey, hold it right there. Yeah. What you want, boy? I've... Uh, I've... There, there was a thing... A, a, a thing... At the saloon. What you talking about? Well, I'm delivering the supplies. You're not the usual driver. Uh, you want a bottle, friend? Here. Uh, uh, have a wee drop. <laughs> I'm new. I, I mean you no harm. Uh, <laughs> I, I've come from Donegal. In, in Ireland. You don't say. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They said you'd understand uh, some kind of incident at the saloon in town. I was told to bring this up here. Ask no questions, I'll tell you no lies. Uh, sort of business. Uh, uh, before the officials got there, okay. they said. Okay, okay. Drive this way. I'll show you how to get there. Oh, thank you, friend. Uh, have a drink. Sean. Let me see. Hamish. Good to meet you, Hamish. <laughs> uh, fine bit of country you've got here. Uh, not as fine as Connemara, but fine nonetheless. My people come from Scotland. Is that right? And you and I are nearly brothers. Scottish. <laughs> Just over here. Yeah, straight down the path here. It's getting so I can barely keep track of all these such deliveries a, coming in. Yeah, and, and they said they was looking for more drivers in town. I jumped at the chance. I ain't never been a fella to kick a bit of honest oh, work out of bed. Like <laughs> so, you folks been having a hard time of it, have you? Yeah, Mr. Gray's got a heap of problems right now with another family around here. A bunch of covetous lowdowns trying to sabotage his livelihood. Disgusting. Oh dear, oh dear. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Hamish. Sounds like you definitely deserve that drink. <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Just in there. Ah, right you are. <laughs> you can unload it here. In here? Oh, <laughs> the horse is like a, a swift one, <clears throat> do they? <laughs> Excuse me? Um, nothing. It's grand. <clears throat> uh, quite a place you yeah. boys have got here. <laughs> Reminds me of one of them big houses uh, out in Donegal. Huh. Real fancy place as they was, Hamish. Real fancy. Some folks got all the money. They can build quite the fanciest places imaginable, eh? Mm. Well, the average man. <clears throat> <clears throat> You can hold up in here till it gets dark. How are you getting on? Good. Nearly got these things ready. Okay. There's plenty. 
my new guards out there. Here's how I feel we should deal with things. <clears throat> you head over to the dry barn. Sure. And you? I'm gonna deal with the fields themselves. We coat everything in moonshine, and then we light things up with these little fellas here. Thankfully, it ain't rained, and that old barn over there should go up like a torch. <laughs> how many of these boys you think you need? They should do it. <laughs> Let's head out the back. Look, once they get wind of us, there'll be no turning back, so move quickly. Of course. I'm rebel stock, boy. I was bar burning down matter houses. We'll burn quietly. Quiet. There's someone coming on the left. This job done first, okay? Me, exactly. Just let me deal with our friend here. One, you douse the fields, I'll meet you at the barn. Try to stay out of trouble. I'm bored. Thank you. 
is good. It's gonna be a long night. I'm gonna... Else this pill. Think she'll go, Arthur? Light her up! I'll give you four stars. Would you look at that? Yes! Now let's burn those bloody fields to the ground. Your turn! Go back to the end! deal with these fellas. You keep warning. Somebody shoot them already!
was what did it say in the bottom right? It said something. <laughs> Should have done that more smarter to be honest. Instead of just oh, going for it. Oh, that's daylight now, that's sad. This is gonna do. Because the horse isn't running. It's because the horse is not running. That's what annoys me about this horse. It's so annoying. Even though I've only just used it. I'm not going to try the same thing that I just did. That's cool. Ah, let's go.
Wait, wait, I got our money's worth, darling. Let's just get out of here first. I think we lost them. That we did. Quite a night. Sure. Interesting little fight Dutch has put us into the middle of here. Uh, I hope him and Jose are right and that there's some money at the end of it. Well, what now? Head on back to camp. You coming? Sure. Yeah, I'm coming to camp. You got me, yeah. Sign off. I should have mind Sean anymore. I used to hate him. I, used, I don't know, there was something against, like, I had against him. I have no idea what it was, but now it's just like... Bill, okay. Look how what Bill's got. It looks like a heist. It has to be a heist. What the Dutch is talking about. Wait, well, got nothing to do with us? So, what I'm going to say is we say that for um, part 9. We're doing this. Um, let's just talk to Mike. You ain't mentioned the Blackwater money for five minutes. This is a new record. What are you talking about now? Only reason you're still here. I know that. You think you're real funny, don't you? I'd pay all my share just to get rid of you. Keep this up. You'll see. Oh, Mike. Oh, Mike has ran off. He's ran off. What if I just keep following him? Is he just going to eventually shoot me? I need a word with you, Morgan. You're not happening right now. I'm just trying to figure out how to annoy Mike a lot more. Man, in a second, Bill. Okay, food is really low. At this point, so I need to do some of that. Okay, friends. Yeah, Micah isn't doing much. We get the food stock done. This is like no food. 500 and that's okay, that's good money, that's good money. What Sean says we doing? What is this Sean? Hey, Arthur. Robber Homestead. Yeah, not happening, not yet. And that's the first I need to go to. Arthur! Yes. Arthur! Are you good? Can I? Face was as 
Oh my god, he's just gonna kill me. Me. Okay, get away from me. Lodging. Free the rest of the camp's tents. That's just. 300. Oh, they're both the same. This would. Okay, this would do well with. Like, for. I feel like everyone's gonna need it. But. Okay, so that, that's the last page, okay. We'll, we'll do this. That is a lot, but. I'm improving what everyone has. I mean, everyone needs a bit of stuff, so. It's better for. Um, that way, we'll uh, suck on that. Okay. Okay. And finish that. Right. Give old death. Death. What did I just give? What did I give? If items, okay. Yeah. Oh, that's already fifty one. What was added to that? So now it just leaves us this page, so we can get. We could do this one if we wanted to. I don't like the tools. If we get pierce and better tools, we can make extra gear. That that's good for us. It would be good to have more room to Okay. Okay, I should have to go on with there, but it's not as to me it's not as important as the tools because we need better gear. That's two chicken. We also need chicken coop. Oh, we don't need chicken coop. Uh, camp boat. We need a trailer. Filling an old boat. Useful question mark. I don't see how, but we can. I don't want anything that. What if we move again, though? I don't want to move again and then it's like. All this was for nothing. So. I'm not gonna buy the camp, but I'll buy the I'll buy the leather one. Now upgrade for the satchel. Craft upgrade for the satchel. Okay, now I wanna check that out. I wanna check that. So we're gonna go ahead and check that out. Morning. Yes. Morning. Molly. Can do this. Yeah, both awesome. Okay. Bad. okay. I hear you've been getting into trouble again. Okay, yeah, crafting update. Up. Mr. Morgan, bring okay. me some materials, and I'll be glad to make something nice for you. Oh, wolf skull would be sick. Let's see, cover. What do we need for this? We need beaver. Okay. Fox. Okay, cow. <sighs> Such a. I don't want that word. I need. I just go. Look, Panther. There's an alpaca deer. My queen buys in the deer. Uh, I 
Yeah, I don't know what's... Yeah, makes sense. Oh. Remember, you won't find something craft like all other satchels. I, I guess I need to craft every other one to be able to get this. That's... To me. <laughs> okay. Oh. Thanks, Pierce. I'm very into my I don't... Why... Okay, why can we do John's one? It's got nothing... We have nothing for it. Alright. I mean, it would be a nice thing to do for him. I was saying that it would be a nice thing to do for him. Art is large. Oh, I get a skull. I've come into contact with some of these in um online. I started playing. For you without more materials. I started playing online, and then uh, yeah, this happened. Okay, so I need the skin to be able to craft the bone. That's what I'm not getting from this. Perfect alligator skin, but that's the bone of it. Alright. That's unacceptable. Cougar. I need to kill a cougar. I don't I don't see any diff oh it's a table. And I need to kill Nox. Okay. I need to hunt all these down then. <laughs> I'm happy to hunt all like all these animals down just a bit. Camp tables. Okay, I've got a lot of animals to hunt. I I need to get my and hands on some materials first. To hunt. I've got a lot on my end. And I will do them. In the next part. Maybe it's, maybe it's going to actually. May as well just get rid of the bed. At this point, I'm. <laughs> I was gonna cut his hair, but like, there's no. <laughs> I go all the way back up to Valentine, don't I? Because for some reason, this place has nothing. There's nothing in there. Yeah, that's not a good place to go. You have to go. No, the ranch. Here, wasn't it? No, 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 it wasn't. Valentine, we have oh, to so far to travel though. I have to go all the way up here to. I was inside the saloon though. At the back. I wonder if they do. I wonder if they have one at the back of this one then. I guess I wouldn't know unless I find it. Oh, I'll do that next part. If you guys enjoyed it. Yeah. Hope you liked it. I highly doubt you did. But watch all the other streams, you know. Just trying to do. I don't know what I'm trying to do. <laughs> um, just messing around and stuff. Alright, anyway. Alright. Have fun with whatever you're doing currently after this. And, um, good day or good night, because, uh, depending on where you're from, it's probably daytime. If you're where I'm from, it's probably nighttime. If you're from wherever you are, it's one or the other. <laughs> but, bye.